Ladies and gentlemen, this picture, truly one of the most unusual of the film, contains scenes which under no circumstances should be viewed by anyone with a heart condition or anyone who is easily upset. We urgently recommend that if you are such a person or the parent of a young or impressionable child now in attendance, that you and the child leave the auditorium. Hey, how's it going, everybody? 20 Midnight here, Midnight Movie House 07. Um, today I'm doing an Asian horror thon. So, I'm going to be doing a review for each Asian horror film that I watched today. And the first one that I'm going to do a review on is a movie called Dream House. Um, it's a Hong Kong horror film. Think of it as like a slasher flick, serial killer type movie. Really brutal death scenes in this film. Uh, really gory. I mean, from the get go, in the beginning, you get this freaking security guard. They put like uh, the killer puts one of those, um, one of those tie strap things, just tie straps like on his throat, and he just just squeezes, and he's like choking for life. And the dumbass grabs a freaking box cutter and. Instead of cutting the strap off his neck, he cuts his own juggler and blood just shoots all over the place. And then you go into a story of this this woman and you know she's trying to get her this this apartment building in this place. And you know, by any means necessary, basically, by any means necessary, she wants to get this house, this flat that's across the I don't know, there's some backstory about some kid that she knew back in the old days when she, when she was growing up and um, she always wanted that house, you know, that apartment. And the things that she does to get the money or to uh, get the, the flat for herself is brutal. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's the killer. And the kill scenes that she, that she does in this film, the, the people that she murder, it's crazy, man. Um, first off, you got a scene with a pregnant woman, and she suffocates her with a vacuum cleaner while she's in the midst of giving birth. Crazy. And then there's a sex scene, a sex scene with a with a murder. At uh, it's the best use of a kitchen knife ever in a horror film, like. So far, I don't, I don't think anybody's ever done this. There's always, they're always done the stabbing from the front. You know, you see the knife go in. This one, the knife goes in from the back. You see the blade coming out from the front of the... Oh, man. And then she chops the guy's dick off. It's gory. I mean, the gore in this film is, is awesome. The storyline is fucking disturbing. And the ending was like, you know, she got away. So it's kind of like saying, you know, if you kill a bunch of people, you can get what you want. So yeah, Dream House is a thumbs up for me. I liked it. It's gory as fucking hell, and it's uh, it's unbelievable. I love this movie. It's really good. And now I'm going to watch something else. Uh, I think it's a Korean film. I forget the name, but I'll be doing a review of it after I watch it. So yeah, that's my review for Dream House. For my little Asian horathon for today. And um, yeah, I'll keep doing this all the way to tonight. Until I go to sleep. You know, I don't know when I'm going to go to sleep. Probably going to go to sleep at like 2 a.m. in the morning or something. I got the back house to myself, dude. The family is like, they're off at the local Grand Wailea Resort. Having a fun time. They don't want to go because uh, Grand Wailea... Ah, been there, done that. I'd rather stay home and watch horror movies. Alright, catch you guys later.